Madniverse. Today we're going to further explore Detroit Become Human. After our Marcus went and freed all the androids that were in the shop, we did the pacifist route on that one. Instead of being all violent, destroying everything, we did save the cops, so that did help with Connor. Because then Hank got a call about Chris, because I guess he was the one that I was sparing. And he was alright, but I decided to spare the woman that Connor... Oh, Connor. Connor was choosing to shoot because the guy who created all the androids said he would tell us something if we shot her, but I chose not to, and that did pretty well with Hank. And Kara is on her way to the border to see if she can get across, but we're back with Marcus for now. And whatever he's planning on doing. I have no idea. It's a nice view though. You can see pretty much everything from right here. Pretty much. Hmm. So, um, what exactly am I doing? Walk to edge. I gotta do some assassin type stuff. Jump down. Probably not. Yeah, just sit. Alright, we do that too. Reflect, I guess, on what we're doing next. Hey, North. I was wondering where you were. Oh, I guess I'm getting back up now. Well, that was not very long of a set. Think alone, daylight. Daylight? I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Hmm. Something's gonna happen very soon. You seem preoccupied. About to have an army here. Followers, next step, lie sincere. Followers? They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. But it also could be a and curse. It's scary. Mm. At the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. That's what I thought was coming. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Optimistic, pessimistic, fatalistic, determined. Yeah. No, not all humans are the same. Yeah, true. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Mmm. Pretty good. Truth, sincere, avoid, not important. That do truth. I was caring for an old man. Hmm. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. North's past, leave. Well, we'll ask her in turn. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, oh, thanks. I told you mine. Trust, aggressive, curious, understanding. We Understand. all have something we want to forget. Hmm. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. Um, trust a guess of curious. Trust? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Come on. I was nothing. What does that mean? A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Ah. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> it's kind of like that Tracy story at the eating you. club. That's fine. I'm glad you did. Knowing things about people you're working with is definitely very good. 
That that kind of sounds exactly like the eating club story. Very interesting. Very similar. Okay. Awkward. I I saw your memories. Carl's house. Lover. When they left okay. you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. Mm-hmm. It is the Eden Club. North. Okay. <laughs> well. Someone's for lever status. I did not expect that. Hmm. Interesting relationships. Yeah, and we're back. So, what's the plan for today? This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. I don't even know what's going don't on. Understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. I don't even know what's going on. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. Okay. This is the only way. Cryptic. Sure. Rally your people. Convert the more androids. Join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Alright, I'm on it, I'm on it. It'll be the first one. You're free. Um, who else is here that's an android? Oh, there's one right there. Let me go get that guy. And then we'll move on. I think that's enough for over here. Hi. You're free. Hmm. Okay. Two androids in the ranks. Okay. How many more do I need before my message becomes really clear? I don't really see any more right now. We'll keep checking. There's one over here. Hey, you're free to come with us. Hmm. Yeah, just go ahead and put that down. They don't need an android to carry their stuff. They're not even paying attention. Hey, you too. Come on. You're awake now. And nobody sees that. But hey, that's fine. All right. Black Road. Well, I need more androids first. There's one right here. Hey. You're free now. Hmm. Come on with me. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get I need back to here. block the street. You stand right here, you fucking machine. Shit, what's wrong with you? You do as I say, you piece of junk. Well, it's like three more people. But apparently one of our guys is having a very bad disagreement. Oh. Um, okay. I guess I can't do anything about that. Good job, guys. Let me get this guy, too. Hi. You are free. Hmm. Got a couple of people at the charging station, so we'll go ahead and get that, too. Hi, guys. You, you too. You don't have to obey them. Or you. Come on, man. You're free. Alright, that's ten people. How many more we need? There's a person over there in the charging station. Let me go get them, too. Ah, uh, stop honking, guys. It's not gonna do anything for you. You're free. Hmm. Come on. So how many is that? Eleven? Ten? I got ten now. Is ten enough? I have no idea. But right now, that's all I can see. It's just ten people. I hope that's enough. Um, is there more on the other side of the street? Let me go check. Oh, nope. He's walking backwards. I guess not. Alright, let's open the manhole cover. Whatever. I guess that's it. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on before we do that. Got a couple people over here. Oh, you won't let me get them? Right there. Oh well. Okay, open manhole cover. And lift. And right there. So is everybody else gonna come up from there? Yep. Hi guys. 
Sadly, Simon is not with us, though. I am pretty bummed about that, but... I did kind of redo that, and I found out that there's only one way to get Simon to come with you. Oh, convert more androids. Okay. Um, a couple people over there. Can you just do it telepathically? Yes, he can. Apparently his, um, his powers got a lot stronger all of a sudden. Because now all he has to do is just look and think, and he's got them. <laughs> huh. Oh, so we're going to slow march. Okay. I'm good with that. Let me get them, too. It's 42. You, too. And you. And you. Jesus. This power is amazing. <laughs> to do something like this is pretty interesting from far away. I like that. That'll definitely help. Keep it going. Act nonchalant, people. Nope, nope, wrong way. <laughs> Shouldn't have stopped. Stopping then I just automatically turned around by accident. And you. I don't even have to hold it. Just press it and it works. Alright. Come on, guys. Just keep going. You too. And them. Anymore. 117. It's quite a few people. And you. Come on. Yeah, you guys over there too. I mean, it said that they were supportive when the news came up too, so... Maybe it might work, I do not know. No, I cannot. I cannot. Raise hands, advance. I'm gonna advance. We're trying to send a message here. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of androids. One gun ain't gonna work. Equal rights, set us free. We are alive. We are people. Now he's just pointing on his own. go backups arrived all right what do you want great well this is gonna be interesting hi I guess you heard about our um, marching we came here. here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings all we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately, or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's <sighs> more of us. We can take them. No. We attack, we'll start a war. Mm. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Well. This is your last chance. I guess if that's my decision. Or you will all be killed. Attack, stand ground, disperse. Stand we ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Even though people are dying. Disperse. This is your last chance. Sorry. We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. 
Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Come on. Can't. We're not moving. I'm not going to attack. Oh. Marcus, what are you doing? They're going to kill us all. Charge, sacrifice, run away. Run! I think it's time to go. Time to disperse. <sighs> Great. Hopefully we'll get another shot. Can lose Marcus. He, he, it's kind of the revolutionary, but maybe I should have charged. And I didn't want to show that though. I did not want that the way to go there. Marcus fled. Yeah. Well, there's definitely quite a few more choices I could have made. Some androids escape. Self-sacrifice would have went a lot further. Charging would have went a bit further too, but self-sacrifice seemed to have been the point there. I kind of figured, but we'll see what else we can do. While well, Marcus actually has a chance to live for a bit longer. I'm still wondering about you, Amanda. Apparently on that painting it said that you were dead. I'm very intrigued by that. The fact is that she could be an android. Still don't know what that does. I have no idea. Hasn't shown me yet. Is this a good idea? This seems pretty stupid. Why are we standing on the lake? Just walk slow. Take it easy. Hi, Amanda. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Mm. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Mm-hmm. Emotional cold, stay silent. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Kamsky, Connor series, Amanda's picture, yes. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Hmm. That explains the plot. That, that explains a lot. Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Hmm. Secret. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. <sighs> Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? That's the question. Yes, no, doubts. Yes. I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. Hmm. Now Amanda's distrusted. Off the That's case. interesting. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Pink, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? 
There's nothing I can do. Mm. You're back on homicide. Oh, and the come android on. returns to cyberlife. Oh no. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. <sighs> Great. Now what do I do? Hmm. Um, I guess it, yeah, probably just take my leave. He doesn't really like me either, so I think leaving is the best choice. Talk to Hank. Wow, I wonder how well that's going to work out. I mean, we are friends. Apparently now. Frustrated more time explained, no choice. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I suppose. I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Not people, defective regrets, no doubt. When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. Not deviant, determined, troubled, cold. Mm. I don't know why I did it. Sincere friends, good officer, Hank Secret. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. Hmm. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Hmm. Can you help me with that? Key to the basement is on my desk. Thank you. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. <laughs> um, yeah. We might want to hurry with that. Go ahead and just take that, and we're on our way. Um, hurry to archive room. Get Got it. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my god, he's gonna start a fight with him. <laughs> oh my god. That's one way to do it. I'll take it. It's time to go. We gotta hurry though. Come on, come on. Surprised I could still hear it from even in here. Hey Connor. Crap. I'm talking to you, asshole. Shh. Where are you going? Answer Wouldn't leave. Any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? Ironic low profile calm. Ironic. I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> ah, great. <laughs> ah, he <laughs> gave a little smile. <laughs> Get a fucking move on. Alright. Says the prick himself. Okay. Well, at least that worked, though. Might have had to take him down. Who knows? We don't have much time, though. We still gotta get moving. That wasted a bit of time. Probably like 30 seconds of that conversation I didn't even need. Ooh, this is interesting. Cool place. I guess this is where everything is stored. Wow. Alright. All right, what are we looking for here? Hence it's password. Crap. Um. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Don't ask me. 
Date of birth. Fucking password. <laughs> that was it. Obviously. Oh, of course. That figures. Well, there we go. Where is Jericho? Well, we got to find out who has the code. Oh, Simon, you're here. Got to think fast. Simon. Must have known where the deviants are hiding. Hmm. Needed for reactivation. Three nine V. I gotta reactivate him? So 3983V. What the heck is Andrew that? Do you have a, whatever that is? Impossible reactivation. Come on. That's not the right one. Okay, what about her? Two traces from Eden Claw. Were they headed to Jericho? Did they know how to get there? Possible. Impossible reactivation. Figures. Come on, you gotta have the part. Oh. Crap. She probably doesn't have it either. She has reactivation as well. 6755. She doesn't have the piece either, though. What about you? Oh, he's a Simon too. He should have it. And he reactivates as well. Come on, functional component. Yes, 3983V. I will take that. Thank you. All right, now let's go ahead and give that back to Simon. Here you go, Simon. Got a piece for you. There we go. Come on, reactivate. It's dark. Oh, he's blind. Where am I? Um, direct help trick. Help. I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Well... Try to trick him. Well, how the heck would I do that? So since she's here, I'll take that piece and I'll reactivate the other Tracy. But Tracy probably won't do anything either for me either. Because since I killed her, uh, her lover, it might not work so well. Tracy. Hi. Direct help deal. Tracy's not far away. I can take you to her. But first, you have to tell me how to find Jericho. I remember you. Oh god, yep. We could have escaped. Been free. But you killed us. Mm-hmm. Well, that's kind of went as far as I thought it would go. Now I gotta try to trick her too. Jeez. Statuette. Um, no, I'll put that back. That's not really gonna help. Um, what else we got here? HK400 Clue. Ah, here we go, Marcus. That should help me trick him. Play. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Yes, sample voice. There we go. That'll work. We ask that you recognize our dignity. Our hopes and our rights. Perfect. All right, back to you, Simon. That should work out perfectly. Good. I still have three minutes. We got enough time then. Hi. Who's there? It's me. Who are you? Marcus. Imitate Marcus. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus, is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. 
You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location of Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho. Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, cool. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me again, Marcus. Don't oh, leave. Oh, don't. Oh. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Oh, crap. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's going to be definitive. Whew. That was close. I think it's time to get out of here. Ow. Yeah. Ah, come on. Oh. Oh. Come on, go down. Pass out on me. Come on. There we go. He got me, but I'm all right. I think it's time to go. What happened here? Nothing. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit! Get the alarm now! Oh crap! I think we gotta get out of here fast. I got a bullet hole through my chest too. Well, that's not gonna go very well. Well, now Amanda's distrusted, but what else can you do? But I found it. Connor incapacitated Gavin. So I guess if I lost fight, something would have happened to him. And something would have happened if I didn't locate Jericho, but I got it. Sorry about that, Simon. Had to turn him off again, but I found what I needed. So either way, I would have gotten the location of Jericho. At some point. I wonder if we're going to go back to Kara now. Yep. Let's see if we can get across the border. Um. Can we talk? No? Uh. That was weird. Okay. How's it going back there? Good. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to say anything? Is this just going to be a silent ride? I suppose so. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. Makes sense. It's going to be all right. We're almost there. Good. That's good to hear. Hopefully we can get out of here before this whole war starts, and Alice won't be in the middle of it. Oh, man. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Good. Get some music in here, because it's kind of quiet. I don't really like that. Everybody's so on edge, but I mean, that makes sense. Oh, man. Much farther. I can't talk to nobody, I can't say anything, it's just a silent car ride. Oh boy. So, um. That music, huh? It's great. <sighs> there yet? We're there now. It's like I keep seeing the same thing we keep passing by, so I don't know what um is supposed to be going on here. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? That's what I was listening to, but, um, I guess that advanced the story a little bit, I guess. <laughs> We're finally here now. Jeez. 
But yeah, this whole thing has been getting out of hand. <sighs> would it have worked if I would have sacrificed myself? Probably. I do not know. Alright, so what do we do? What's the plan? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My oh. brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. Thank you, though. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Hmm. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. So, apparently she's going to Jericho as well. Them. It all comes down to Jericho, no matter what. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. We better not. We have a bus to catch. And we just have to figure out how to get to Jericho. Is it the same way that Marcus took, or are we going a different route? Oh, back to Connor. Hey, he's in some new digs. Okay, then. Oh, no, don't tell me we gotta start doing this all over again. Well, he found it already. <laughs> he just knows exactly what to look for. That's good. So I guess, yeah, they're all going to Jericho, so they're all going to see each other. It's all converging onto one spot. So I guess this is what we're going on? I said bus, it's not boat, so I guess we're just going to go to the boat. Marcus, are you here? I hope so. Yep, hate it. Delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. I don't know where we're going to find that. Um, warm place? Anybody got a warm place that I could use? No? No, not there. Um, no, not there. Oh boy. Where's a warm place in here? Oh boy. This is. Um, I do not know where to go for this one. Yeah, it's all blocked off. Oh, right there. Right there. Come on, Alice. Found it. It's right here. I walked around the whole thing and it's sitting right here. Go ahead and sit here. It'll be alright. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. That's not good. Still running a fever? Oh, man. I don't know if there's anything we can Stay do for her. her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. <sighs> Stop Stay skipping what he's trying to tell you. I'm very curious about what he's trying to say, but she keeps leaving. Oh, Connor! Found it. So now all three are in the same place. I just have to find Marcus. Where is Marcus? Probably wouldn't be down here anywhere. He'd probably be upstairs. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the 
So let's go up here. You're oh, lost. hi. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Yeah, kind of. Back to Kara. Oh, she's up here. Marcus! Where are you? You in here? This looks like a planning room. There he is. Hey, Marcus. Found you. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Thanks, Marcus. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Bond, no difference, secret. She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. Makes the thing more and hard, doesn't it, Marcus? Following the android crisis and the neutral... <sighs> Connor should be around here real soon. This is where I was with him, but he disappeared. Let's see if we can head back to uh, Luther here. Huh? Yep, thought so. It's an Alice android. That's not Alice. YK500, my perfect child. Come back here! You're mine! Mm hmm. Figured it out. You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. Hmm. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. So all this time... What difference does it make? Her LED was covered by her hair. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting. That's what I thought in the beginning. I kind of figured as much. Why was she always cooking her food if she didn't need it? So her LED is gone. Someone must have took it out before. Hmm. Wonder how long ago it was. Kara, is there something wrong? Hmm. Not at all. Hug distant. I'm not gonna be distant. Come on. It's because I know she's one of us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Family. Forever. Good. So that explains why she never ate. Because she didn't need to. But why give her food if she never needed it? He just kind of cooking food for some odd reason. I do not understand why, but 
I guess it was to hide the fact that she was an android till now. But I guess I kind of figured, in a way. Well, now I'm not a leader anymore, but still admired for now. She keeps changing her look, too. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. So now it's my fault. Aggressive, determined, righteous, somber. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Angry, bitter, remorse, no regrets. Yeah. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This I wouldn't either. Nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Which is what? Confrontation, dialogue, stay hiding. <sighs> Crap. Dialogue. Is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Well, maybe. It's a risk I'm willing to take. But North, I have to try. Hmm. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. I'll try. It says that they're supposed to be supportive as the public opinion, but nobody's standing up for it. Sad, angry, thoughtful, bitter. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Mmm. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Keep refuse. No. We shouldn't become like them, North. <sighs> we can't. can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Well, only time will tell. But I'm not gonna do Whatever that. Whatever happens tomorrow. I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not? Just hope everything works out well. I do not really know at this point. I'll go join the others. Dialogue may not be the right way to go about this. Maybe confrontation is, but... Look after yourself. Killing just you don't want to, lose you. to get a point across? I just, I don't know. It's hard to say. Is freedom worth all that? It's tough to say. There's not much left. There's Connor. I was wondering where he was. Interesting. So she's in his head? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. 
Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. <sighs> I don't know if that's the way to go about it, but we'll see what he's got. Put that away. Don't. I've been ordered to take you alive. Hmm. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Reason, defy, discourage, threaten. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Let's see, intimidate instructions. Great, You're coming with me. Convince, appeal, I know you. Hmm. You're Connor, aren't you? Somehow he knew that. That famous deviant hunter. Hmm. Okay. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Convince, appeal, our cause. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back, warning shot, enough, say nothing. I don't know if I like playing both sides. So doubts, question, under me. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Question, rally, undermine again. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. What's the plan, Marcus? Become a deviant, remain a machine. So I guess I have the choice. I'll do it. <sighs> Great. Well, it took him this long, but it all helped the fact of I kind of pushed him towards that at the end. But I did it. Come on, tear it away. Yeah. One more. Let's get it out of here. There we go. Got it. I am deviant. Betrayed. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Mm. Shit. That'd be a good idea. Oh, jeez. They're already here. I don't know how much time we've got. Oh boy. Um. Come on, go, go, go! Crap, they're gonna have us surrounded. Where did he find it? Rats in the maze. Ah. Hmm. Go, go, go! Run, run, run! Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Whoop. Almost missed that turn there. Oh, flashbang, I think. Come on, come on. I'll try and find one, I hope. It's a good thing I have him. Oh, jeez. Um, um, I take, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Oh no, Luther! Crap, not his leg. People are trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. Um, message, Josh, helicopters blow up Jericho. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. There we go. Um, Josh? Where's Josh? I don't know, we got separated. Oh, crap. Um, they're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Well, I guess I'm gonna go with all Jericho. I'll blow it up. We have to blow up Jericho. The ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape! You'll never make it! 
The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. I hope so. Great, now I have to find my way down. But how am I gonna do that? There's people everywhere. What the heck am I gonna do? Um, oh, hi. You need to get out of here. Oh no. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Great. Um, come on, come on, come on. We gotta keep going. Oh, good. Go, 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 go. Oh no, oh no. No. Get up, get up, get up. Don't let it get out. Oh no. Didn't give you any trouble at all. Affirmative, welcome. Looks like it's okay. How much farther do I have to go? It's too late, Kat. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not gonna leave you behind. Right, Carl? Um We can't, leave him. We can, but what are we supposed to do? Come on, come on, you got this, let's go. Come on. I don't know if we're gonna make it out, but we'll try. Good, 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 close the door. Or not. You shouldn't have done that. Why not? Put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? <sighs> Go now. Take care of each other. Yeah, come on, Luther. I really don't know if that's going to happen, but... We'll try and get out of here. Hide. Um, yeah, hide in there. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Come on, get out of here. Oh. Uh. Jerk. Oh, come on. Get down. Come on. There we go. Oh, geez. Are we going to shoot him? Yep. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. Well, I opened up the door just for that. There's more down there. Follow me. Oh man. Sorry. I opened up the door, but it didn't matter. This is not good. Oh, that was weird. Little hiccup there. Go, 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 come on. Oh, well, he kind of already did, but it passed him. Oh, no. Um, intervene, don't intervene. Yeah, get out of here. Ow. Yeah. Nope. Go down. There we go. Oh, leader again. Go figure. It's time to keep going, though. We're almost there. Just gotta go straight down. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Um. What do we do? What do we do? Climb, climb, climb. Huh? Hopefully, he made it. Looks like he didn't get a scratch, so good. Um. Oh, no. I guess that didn't really matter. Come on down the stairs. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I thought I was going to jump down there and intervene again. Now I'm just admired. Again. There's Josh. Intervene. Let's go get him. Nope. Yeah. Oh, come on. Press that at the last second, but it never matters. 
Gosh, a couple of, you know, need some help here. Quick, this way. Find Never mind. North. I'll join you later. Oh crap! Run, run. We're safe, Alice. Go, 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 go! Run! Oh no. Um, play dead, run, surrender. Let's try run. Or not. Get up, attack, surrender, play dead. Get down. Don't move. Defend Alice, don't move. Please don't kill me. I... At least it worked. <sighs> you alright? We good? Quick, we gotta go. Yeah, might wanna hurry with that. <sighs> well, at least they both made it out. And he made it there too, so now it's time to blow up Jericho. Um how do we do this? Oh crap. Go move. Go and join the others. Nope. Nope. Oh jeez, how many more people are gonna be here? Yeah. Whoop. Come on. Drop it. Thank you. Jeez. Come on, guys. There we go. That takes care of one of them, at least. Even in the wrong way, I didn't want to do it, but... Let's do it. Activate! Um, you better know a way out of here. You do not want to get blown up. Oh. Oh, that was easy. I made it up to him that quickly. Run, run, run. Whoop. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, come on. Oh, no. Crap. Now what? Save north or run? Just gotta do it. Yep. That works. Whoop. Get out of here. Nope, no, no pistols. Always with the pistols. Sorry. Oh god, run, run, keep going. Oh, thanks, Connor. Oh, great. Now we're gonna fight with Connor. I missed that. Yep. Ah! It's always so quick. Never get it in time. Jeez, Connor. Um, go, 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 go. Don't get shot anymore. Oh. <sighs> I do kind of wonder how different that would have been with Simon there. Maybe things would have worked out a bit differently. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Is it over, Marcus? No, it's not. Ah, oh, man, that was a long one. Jeez. Crossroads. Three at Jericho. Karen Alice escaped. And Marcus. Marcus fled with his people. One person locked. And that's because of Simon. Simon wasn't there, so he's the only person that didn't get a jump. But, it worked. Oh. That was, um, something. But I think we'll go ahead and end that there today. Shouldn't have too much 
left, I don't think. A couple more chapters, probably. It's pretty close to the end. Since they all three kind of found each other, but Kara's escaped some different ways, so... Marcus and Connor at least together, but Kara's somewhere else with Alice. If Luther escaped, I do not know. I hope so. But I guess we'll have to find out. But that was a very action-packed episode there. A lot of stuff happened. I actually made Connor into a deviant that time. I mean, you kind of put his deviancy in your hands at that point. But then it had, all depends if you had enough software instability to make him a deviant. Or he would have just stayed a machine. But now that I'm like completely distrusted and hated by Amanda, I don't know how well that's going to work. But uh, apparently she does know she's dead. And the whole reason was because he wanted to make a person that he knew, so he chose Amanda. That makes some sense, I believe. It's very interesting. But things are starting to come together, and now we're almost done. So we'll have to see in the next episode what happens. So thank you for joining me for this adventure. I'll see you guys for the next adventure. Bye.